In this video, I'm going to show you how to bind Mexi to Google Authenticator and add an extra layer of security to your account. If you're still relatively new to Mexi, I do have a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. If you end up getting some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. It's always a good idea to add a second layer of security to your account, such as Google Authenticator. If you don't already have the app, you can get it for free right here on the Google Play Store, and you can also get it for free on the Apple App Store. Just simply download and install the app. To bind Mexi to your Google Authenticator app, simply come right up here to the top right hand side of the screen and hover over your profile icon. From this drop down menu, click where it says security. And this will bring you over to your security page. And you'll likely be getting a pop-up right here where you can enable Google Authenticator. You can also use SMS verification, but I don't typically use that just with all the SIM card scams going on in the world right now. Google Authenticator for me is a much better option. So just simply click right here on Google Authenticator. And that'll bring you over to this page right here where you can start the process of binding Mexi to your Google Authenticator. So simply come right down here and click on Next Step. Then Mexi will be displaying your QR code and you'll also see a setup key right down below your QR code. So what we would do from here is we'd open up the Google Authenticator app and at the bottom right hand side of your app, you'll see a little plus sign, tap on that. Then you'll see two options, scan a QR code or enter a setup key. The easiest way is to scan a QR code, so tap on that. Then hold your phone up to your screen and scan your QR code. And that's going to add Mexi to your Google Authenticator app. You'll also notice a setup key just below your QR code. Make sure to write that key down and keep it somewhere safe. You can use that key code to recover your account if your phone ever gets lost, stolen or broken. If for whatever reason you can't scan a QR code, you can tap inside your Google Authenticator app where it says enter a setup key. Then give your account a name and enter your setup key which is located just below your QR code and then tap on add. Once that's complete, click on next step. On this step here, Mexi will be reminding you to back up your key in a secure location. So if you haven't already done that, now's a good time to write that down and keep it somewhere safe. You don't want anybody getting their hands on that. Once you're done doing that, click on next step. On this page here, you're going to have to put in your login password to your Mexi account. Then you'll need to request a code to your email by clicking right here on get code. Once that code arrives in your email, you'll have to enter it right here. Then down here, you'll have to enter in your Mexi six digit code found within your Google Authenticator app. Once you enter in that information, simply click on enable. Once you click on enable, you'll be brought back to your security page. And as you can see right here, Mexi Google Authenticator is now toggled to on. Now you've successfully added a second layer of security to your account. And there you have it. That's how you bind Mexi to Google Authenticator. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also, feel free to check out some of my other Mexi tutorials, which I've put together for you in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.